day 80. All right, this week I lost another pound. I'm really grateful for that. Let's talk a little bit about maintenance. Because everybody's like, all right, Kellyanne, you're on a juice feast. Now what are you going to do when you go back to eat food? Just get fat again? No. Um, I am going to continue juicing just every once in a while. Because it's a great way to get your greens and your fruits in. And you know what? I don't crave a big greasy cheeseburger. It, the thought of it makes me want to bleh. So, what I crave when I see good salads and smoothies and fruit platters, that's where I'll be, eating the good, healthy, clean food. We're going to talk a little bit about how I feel. I don't think I'm stressed to the point of the new way I feel about my environment. Sometimes I'll just be looking out in the yard at Mother Nature and I'm thinking, oh my God, it's almost surreal. My brain is so clean. So, I know I'm loving the fact that I spent 90 days, almost, almost, uh, taking care of this. I really thought it was just going to be a great way to clean my body, but I didn't understand what it would do to my thought patterns. When I'm going throughout the day and I'm making my juice and I'm doing my yoga and I'm going to work, I can't get over at my age how I feel so much better. Sometimes it actually brings tears to my eyes. I have these grateful thoughts that overwhelm me. I have to be thankful for the people that have taught me how to do this. Grateful for the people that have given me information that I can receive so that I can take my body, body and bring it to a youthful state where I feel like the second half of my life is a new beginning. Part of the things you have to do with this type of situation, changing your lifestyle this dramatically over the past few years as I've done, is to remember to put my body first. And through these videos, you know I tend to be a workaholic. It's a very difficult change for me. This is probably one of the most difficult. I thought smoking and drinking was rough. This is way harder. Uh, putting my body first gives me such a presence of mind that I, I never even thought that that was available to humans. And now that I am so blessed with it, I, I'm looking forward to keeping the patterns of putting my body first, taking rest when I need it, taking and just enjoying a joyful afternoon with friends, uh, you know, making sure that this feeds me, this poisons me, and consuming the food that actually feeds my body and my brain. It's wonderful. All right. I was at the grocery store yesterday, piling my cart on the bottom, on the top, on my back, full of produce. Pineapples and celeries and apples and oranges. And I love it, but only one more trip to the grocery store and I can buy a little bit less. And I will say I'm looking forward to just being able to purchase what I can chew and consume and I'm really excited about it. I just want to share those thoughts and I want to give thanks to all the people who keep giving me messages. I'm so happy. It helps me so much. It motivates me and please continue. Thank you.